What are the symptoms of multiple sclerosis? Well, there are a whole variety of symptoms that can affect people with MS. Of course, some are more common than others. And symptoms generally occur in the setting of what we call attacks or relapses or exacerbations. So the very first symptom in people with MS that's most common are sensory symptoms. These are, this is numbness or tingling in some part of the body. Now everybody gets numbness or tingling if you hit your funny bone or you cross your legs too long. And that's the same kind of feeling that a person with MS might get, but in, in that person it happens spontaneously and it lasts for a much longer time, typically, typically days. Another very common, uh, fairly early symptom is optic neuritis. This is an inflammation in the nerve that controls vision. So people typically get a hole in their, in their field of vision. They get pain on eye movement, and they may have uh, uh, some other defect in their field, field of vision in, in one eye. Other symptoms that are fairly common are motor symptoms. So that can be weakness in one arm or one leg, sometimes both legs, incoordination or clumsiness in a limb double vision, dizziness, or vertigo. Those are among the, the more common, um, obvious neurological symptoms. And then there are certain symptoms in people with MS that we regard as sort of silent symptoms or invisible symptoms would be a better way to term that because we as neurologists can't see this in a patient. And one of the most common of those symptoms is fatigue. And this is one of the probably three most common symptoms in people with MS. And it's not the kind of fatigue that a person gets when they just haven't had a good night's sleep, they burn up a little bit too long. It's really an overall sense of enervation. It's as if you just can't go on and do the kinds of activities that an, an ordinary person would want to do. And it's a very mysterious but common symptom in MS for which we don't clearly have an, an explanation. There's some other things that happen in people with MS. Depression is very common in people with MS. About half of the population of people with MS will experience a, a significant bout of depression during their lifetime. We don't know whether this is directly related to the areas of abnormality in the brain that are caused by MS or some other factor. A lot of patients with MS com complain that, they, that their thinking isn't as keen as it was when they were uh, younger. And this can be memory impairment, it can be trouble focusing and concentrating, trouble multitasking. Um, it usually doesn't re result in very profound uh, impairment of cognitive function, but it is a very common complaint. How about pain? Pain is a, an underrecognized symptom of MS, and, and it too is extremely common, and it can occur in a variety of types. Some patients with MS develop what we refer to as paroxysmal pains. These are jabs of pain. One common site is in the face, uh, what we call trigeminal neuralgia. So these are like lightning-like jabs of very severe pain, and that, that can occur in other areas of the body, other types of neuralgic pain. And then there are a lot of patients that get a, a burning kind of pain, which is a, a manifestation of one of the sensory symptoms. So these are people that typically will have numbness and tingling, but often it takes on a more persistent, painful, burning quality. And finally, there are patients with MS who just have significant aches and pains in a limb. Some of that might be related to spasticity or stiffness in the limbs, which is a common manifestation of MS. In other people, it's a result of abnormal postures. A lot of people with MS have trouble walking. And one of my uh, uh, mentors once told me that MS disables patients in three ways, because of gait impairment, walking trouble, because of fatigue, and because of difficulty with bladder function. Um, so as a result of abnormal postures and gait, a lot of people develop secondary tissue injuries, spine, uh, problems, for example, low back pain. So if, if I develop pain in the right lower part of my abdomen and I push on it, it's tender, it's a good chance that that's going to be appendicitis. What symptom tells me that I have MS? Well, you're right that you better not come see your neurologist for that, for that problem. But um, so again, uh, typically with MS pain, you will not have uh, local tenderness to the touch or, or tenderness on pressure, you'll have a spontaneous pain. The distribution is typically in, a, in the 
in a neurological pattern rather than a, where you might expect pain from a specific organ dysfunction like the liver or the or the appendix or or heartburn things like that you know there is a tendency for people with MS to think that everything that happens to them is from MS um, and MS is enough trouble for somebody to to bear but it unfortunately doesn't protect the person from getting other kinds of disorders so I tell patients you know let us know if you have any symptom that persists but often you'll need to see your primary care doctor. Right, but you've given a long list of, of symptoms of things that can occur in patients with MS, and people can look up on the internet and look that up, numbness, tingling, et cetera. Are any of them characteristic only of MS, that if you have it, you say, oh my goodness, I must have MS? I would say there's almost no symptom that is absolutely characteristic of MS, and, and the doctor diagnosing MS has to put together the history, the neurological examination, and get some help from some other studies such as imaging. And how about the time frame? You alluded to this earlier in terms of how long the symptoms should last before you would even consider this a possibility. Right. As a general rule, when people have attacks of MS, they tend to last 24 hours or longer. So if you get a bout of numbness that lasts a few minutes, that's highly unlikely to be due to MS. The exception being these paroxysmal symptoms. So when these like jabs of pain recur multiple times over a series of days, even though each individual jab is very brief, that can be a, a symptom of MS.